Hi guys, welcome back. So I thought I'd better explain myself a little bit. <laughs> um, I've been AWOL for about two weeks now and um, there's a very, very good reason for that. And I'll get to it in a wee minute, just bear with me. I thought first of all, just to sort of start the vlog off in a bit of a light mood, I would introduce you to Everest. Everest is not mine, but um, Everest lives at my house and I have full access anytime I want to enjoy this absolutely phenomenal Mazda Bongo camper van. Everest is a 1995 model, very very old, I think it's about 24 odd years old. Everest is very old, but Everest is phenomenal. Everest has had so much work done. Um, my aunt bought it last year, the end of last year, and it's a wee stoter. A pop top roof, so there's two beds up there, which I'm not going to put them up just now, but there's, there's a pop top roof there, and this bit here sort of folds down into a single bed as well. And this bit here folds down into a sort of mini bed where the dog can sleep because she has a dog called Pip who you've met before. Yeah, as I said, I thought this would be more of a sort of vloggy type video. Currently parked at a location, I thought I'd stop and have a coffee. Pork pies, because I haven't had any lunch yet. So I thought I'd have some pork pies, have a coffee and come down. And when I left the house, it was lovely. There was sunshine, there was sort of scattered clouds. I thought, well, sporadic clouds usually means that we might get a good sunset. So um, I thought I'd head out and try and get a nice sunset picture. The last time I had a phenomenal sunset quite close to where I live was when I came to the Loup of Fintry, which is just down there somewhere. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's down there. But I thought I would explain myself first and foremost and um, tell you what's been happening. I basically said I was going to the shop and uh, I've ended up disappearing. <laughs> so uh, I don't do that very often, but I felt like I had to just get out of the house and just go and do something because I've been cooped up in the house for two weeks and I'm quite frankly going nuts. Thought I would, you know, like steal a TARDIS and run away type thing. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And I live right next to the mountains. So, or the hills, I, I don't know if you can call the Camp Fells Mountains really big hills. I live right next to really, really big hills and it's such a beautiful road. And there's a road that I'm on just now which ends up at the Tacmadoon Road and you get the most spectacular views over to the Fourth Road bridges and stuff like that as well and all over Glasgow. It's beautiful. It's a really, really high road. But we did have some snow last night. So the hills are sort of covered in snow and they look absolutely amazing. I get really excited when it's snowing. That's why I sort of stole the van and ran away today. There's not really any snow here. I think we're too low. So I think it's just the tops of the campuses that have snow on them. Um, and plus it started raining, so it's kind of washed a lot of that away, which is an absolute shame. As is this case with landscape photography, it's one of those you have to be in it to win it type things. What I was um, hoping for was going back to a location that I knew really well, just to have a wee look. I think I was here March, April time last year. So just to come a little bit earlier in the season, just to scout it again and have a look at it. And I will probably take a picture down there. But what I was going to do today, which is a little bit different. Now I'm currently filming on the Canon M50, which I absolutely adore. I love this camera so much. At the beginning, I noticed there's a bit of a focusing issue. Like it would focus on, see that it's doing it now, it's fine now. And back to me again. Yeah, it would focus um, on the background rather than on me. That might have been a user error setting thing that I've not done properly, but I feel like I've kind of got to know the camera a little bit better. But it's so lightweight. I mean, I've got it on a really lightweight Manfrotto tripod just now. Been using that a lot more just for as my, my sort of vlogging tripod but it's not ideal for hiking, so I'm gonna to have to find a sort of lightweight solution. People are saying the Gorilla Pod and stuff like that, but I'm gonna look into that. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments for me. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. See, I told you this is vloggies. For me, vloggies, I don't shut up, right? So this was bought for me for my Christmas. Now this is a, oh, if you could see it. Come on, focus, there you go. A Viltrox speed booster. Um mount adapter for that camera and it's for the EOS um, M mount. Ah, I broke it already. So yeah, it's just exactly the same as your Canon mount. Well, that's actually not a Canon M mount, that will be the, the L series mount. So what I've got with me is this, which is going to replace the kit lens, which came with that, which is a 15 to 45 f3.5 lens which is fine for vlogging and it's got really really good autofocus on it but I wanted to see if I could use this for photography more just to have a lightweight camera on location rather than the, the Pentax which is in there which weighs an absolute ton and I would not dream of taking that hiking because it's far too heavy so I thought this would be a good um, substitute to basically sort of gear down to a lightweight camera and it's mirrorless and it's, it's fantastic the quality of photographs so far have been pretty good even just using the kit lens on this camera so what i like about this is you've got a, a wee sort of mount there so you could put a 70 to 200 mil lens on that quite easily um 
and you could just mount it to your tripod and it'll take all the weight off your camera which is exactly what you want so really really sturdy very well built this was about 50 pound or something off amazon there was a big discussion on youtube actually there was another photographer who'd had one of these and he was basically saying does this make the the m50 a contender as a sort of pretend full frame mirrorless camera. I don't know, I don't think so. To be honest, I'd have to say no, but I would. what I am glad about is the fact that I can now mount L series lenses on this camera. So what I have with me to try it is this lens here. Borrowed my friend Jim's 24 to 70 mil last year and I loved it. So I'm going to save up and buy one. But in the meantime, I have this. So this is a 100 millimeter macro lens L series beautiful Canon lens. Now this one, so basically that goes on the back of the, the M mount and that, if I could just lighten up properly, there you go, click, is now on that which means that's going to go on an absolute treat. Is it focused? There you go. That'll go on an absolute treat and there it is at the back. Fits perfectly doesn't add a lot of weight. I mean, it's really, really sturdy. It's fantastic. It, I mean, the lens is heavy as it is, but it doesn't add that much extra weight. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's a 100 mil macro lens. Um, what these are good for, this one goes down to 2.8. Sorry, I should, I should say as well. So what these are good for are, um, I would say, more intimate landscape shots. Uh, if you don't want to log about your, 100, or your two, 70 to 200 mil, this is ideal because you can still get in pretty close with this and the quality is outstanding. And what I'm also curious about is, will this autofocus on me if I vlog with it? So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that in this week's video because I want to try and wait until I have the 24 to 70 mil and that, and then we can test them both for vlogging. But just for photography wise, I'm gonna try and use this today at some point. Oh yeah, I haven't told you where I've been. I forgot, sorry. So just to give you a bit of perspective, uh, I did put up a AWOL post on my Instagram. Um, if you're on my Instagram, it's Pamela Marshall photos. Um, I put up a post saying I was AWOL. I was basically stuck at home for two weeks and the reason for that is because I was in hospital having a procedure done which meant um, which is called a lumbar puncture and if any of you've had one of them they're horrific <laughs> um, but unfortunately mines didn't work very well and they had to do it four times so my back was like a pin cushion by the end of it and they hit the sciatic nerve and they hit bone and they hit all sorts of stuff before they finally got it and done it properly so yeah my back has been very very painful it meant i've not been able to do any hiking i can't do any photography because carrying equipment and stuff i wasn't allowed to carry in heavy so i've had to sort of hunker down and watch a lot of netflix which was great to be honest but i have missed this so much i've missed getting out and going for a walk and taking pictures just for the hell of it and talking to you guys as well i've missed all that as well hi was a big Merc just pack, parked up behind me. Okay, so yeah, so I'm really excited about using this lens. I think that is going to be awesome fun to use. And I'm going to go and have my lunch, have a pork pie, and then we'll go for a wee walk. There is a little fin tree. And it's sweetie, sort of hailstony. It was a minute ago. I am freezing cold. But I've got some really nice smoke graphs. I've actually not gone down to the the actual waterfall itself because it's far too muddy and I'm only wearing trail shoes and jeans today so uh, so the aim of the game was to try and get to another location another part of this location so I kind of came off the beaten track and went this sort of gorse land um, and I found some really beautiful yellow flowers and I sort of framed up as a foreground against the loud in the background and I'm really really happy with it so I'm going to get it back into Photoshop and hopefully it'll work out fine. I hope you can hear me just now there's a little bit of a wind coming in just now and it's quite annoying alternative photograph to the classic uh, very very low waterfall shot that everyone gets here unfortunately the, right, the light is absolutely rotten there's nothing there's a wee bit of a glow above the hill a minute ago but it's disappeared again and the sleet has just come back i did shoot a slightly long exposure it was only really two seconds though so um, that was mainly to try and get the, the waterfall looking quite dreamy but then i realized that the foreground was actually because it's so windy just now the foreground just been getting battered about and it just looked really really bad so i'm going to stick with my slightly faster shorter speed of 40 of a second still not that fast but it's enough to give that sort of illusion of dreaminess but also my foreground is completely in focus i've also taken a picture where my background is completely out of focus and uh, but you can still obviously make out what it is and i think that might actually be my favorite picture from today but uh yeah, it's just been really nice to get out. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck. Yay. 
oh my goodness, it's so wild outside. <laughs> my fingers are like icicles just now. I had to run back up there. It was minging, it was muddy, I didn't like it. Um, so yeah, mental note for next time, bring your walking boots if you're going to do this because it's so slippy and very steep. Um, and I just realised the bit I was vlogging at, um, when I stepped down away from the camera, was actually on a bit of a hill. So that was really stupid because it was really slidey. So yeah, I need to keep that, be aware of your surroundings thing in my head more. <laughs> So I was going to go for a wee drive up to Karen Valley but as you can see outside, or maybe not, it's getting kind of dark now. But I'll maybe still just take a wee drive up just to have a wee look because it is a particular subject I remember from before that um, if it's been raining as much as I hope it's been, it might be flooded. Uh, but it depends whether I get there before it's dark or not so we'll soon see. But we'll take a wee drive up anyway and see what it looks like. Well, it's definitely less windy in here. So I was just testing out the other lens to see how good it was for um, photography on this camera and also for vlogging as well. Um, I haven't had a look at that footage yet, so if it doesn't make the effect, I'll show you it regardless of what it looks like or whether it's any good or not. So I'm currently at the Karen Valley Reservoir and um, it's dark, it's miserable, it's raining, Scottish weather. <laughs> Um, but it's also now just past sunset, so we're into bluer just now. Took a picture of the wee tree that is completely submerged in water and um, I got a really nice sort of band of light coming from the sky, which was the only bit of light I've seen today. But that's gone now and it looks like there might be snow clouds above Miko Bend, I'm not really sure, which is just behind me up there. A wee bit of a short jaunt today. Um, I know that the, most of my vlog has been taken up by just me gabbing, but I'll be intrigued to see how this photograph turns out. I think it'd be quite nice for um, nature photography, like taking pictures of animals and birds and stuff as well. Obviously not as um, as intense as the sort of six to 800 mil ones you get for wildlife, but I think for sort of, if you're, I don't know, on safari or something, it'd be quite cool. Especially the 2.8 aperture on it, I think it'd be quite cool for that sort of stuff. But, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to go back and get a coffee because I am freezing cold. Yeah, and this is actually quite a busy road, so lots of cars have passed me and nearly run me over. So I'm going to head back to the house and um, I hope you've enjoyed this little rainy, dark jaunt out and really it was just an opportunity to have a wee test of that lens and uh, and just get out of the house. But I need to go back now. But that's probably going to be me stuck in the house for another week now, so maybe not actually, I'll try and get out next week. I do want to continue my Scottish Coasts and Waters series and I had actually started filming that uh, two weeks ago before I went in for my procedure but that's going to be part of a series of about four videos which I have planned in my head and um, I've planned it roughly on paper as well so it looks pretty cool. It's raining heavily now my back is getting soaking and I'm going to go and get a coffee but I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you like this video then like and subscribe and until next week I'll see you soon bye